So I guess the video cut off. I, I got to keep going. So, yeah. So you like your superheroes? Just whoever you like, we'll read them. You want to mean you're, you want to read this? You want to read that? We'll read it. So I didn't add some Spider-Man comic books. I'll just add some more on the on the book club. We'll do that as well. So I mentioned some books from the from the book club and uh, and uh, yeah, I'm including some more books for um, for um, I don't know if I'm going to include it for this month. I might have to wait for April or for May. I'll figure it out. But uh, we're obviously adding our beloved author. Khalid Hosseini, you know, it is Ramadan, so I know a lot of people want to wonder what they should be reading, and, you know, you know, of course what they should be reading. They should be reading The Kite Runner, Thousand Splendid Sons, and The Mountains Echoed. You know, this is a very important books. They are very important, and uh, we just, uh, you know, we just need to really... Not forget Afghanistan. Afghanistan is very important to us, and uh, you know we just we have to we have to not forget about about the land. It's just very important, and uh, we basically just have to really put the fear. I don't know how we can put the fear in all these Taliban and just be like, "Yo, goddammit, it!" In, in a split second, we can get rid of every Taliban in the country in a second. Just, just we just have to find a way to show that to them. To just to just show them from the sky. From up there and just say, listen, goddammit, you're going to let these women and children study and go to school? You better. Because if you don't, you know, Space Force, Air Force, Space Force can in 20 seconds look at every single Taliban in Afghanistan and put a marker on all of them while they're pissing. While they're pissing. That's how strong they are. That's how strong the power is. So normal bullshit. I mean, I'm just sick. This whole notion that Afghan women and children and and boys and whatever they cannot study in peace and harmony, they can't. And guess what? Now everyone has heard about my new podcast, Zeta Radio. Zeta Radio. Afghan dance music. Now at episode 108. 108. I got 108 episodes. I told you I was. I worked fast. I worked fast. I made. I made. Uh, I mean, uh, I made a lot of that episode already. I mean, a hundred episode just like that. You know, full well, I can go even more. I can make even more episodes. And so, you know, uh, you know, people who love um, Afghan dance music, and you know, who you are, who you want to be, you want to, you know, you want to be on this podcast just to to be uh, more raise awareness about Afghanistan. There you go. And there's nothing wrong with Afghan men. And women dancing to this kind of music. I am sick of this shit. Do you understand that my parents in that country were not even allowed to hold hands while they were walking down the street? This is ridiculous. They've been married for like over 30 years and they can't even hold hands together? What the hell is this? All these Afghan weddings, you can't even, the men and women can't even dance together? It's ridiculous. It's 2024. It's a new era. We have to find a way to just modernize the country. We'll never, we'll never get out of it unless we modernize it. We have to find a way to let the country modernize. I know. The new generation want to modernize. I, I see it. I look at Tolo News. I look at Tolo News. And those guys are like, yo, they just want to they just want to relax. They just want to, they really want to, they want to have a new era for their country. It's very important. So, you know, we have to raise awareness. We have to talk to them. We have to let them uh, celebrate their music. You know, the Taliban destroyed all their musical equip equipments, but the, all these these young Afghan boys and girls, you know, grew up and they've been in their education. They want to see a future for their country. It's very important. Think about what Commander Ahmad Shah, son of Commander Masood, is thinking right now. Look at his pictures. 
Look at him talking on his Instagram. You know full well he's upset. You know full well if he joined forces with someone like Jocko or whoever. They could really recreate a, a way to repair this country once and for all. We know full well that American military might is a whole lot stronger than these goddamn Taliban's in Afghanistan. They are much stronger. And yeah, it's very hard to deal with the way that they act. And, you know, you go there, there's ID, IEDs and, and all this and that. But guess what? We have the technology. We have the technology. One day, we'll be able to just... You see all these Taliban from the sky in, in Afghanistan? Why don't we just zap them with the lasers? Yeah, there you go. It's called a railgun. It actually exists. But... Anyway, it's um, it's just very important that uh, you know, as we say, technology whip whip. What is whip? Work in progress. Work in progress. So you know, it's uh, it's it will happen. You know, it's you know, I, I just uh, I am uh, very excited by, by what uh, what the future holds. I know a lot of people say that uh, it'll never be recovered. It'll never be this and that. Well, God damn it. I think it will. You just you just never know. Uh, anyway, I'm reading some magazines. Uh, yes, uh, Top Gear. Obviously, Top Gear. I've been watching Top Gear for over 15 years. Still haven't bought my own new vehicle. My vehicle does not have an infotainment system. I really need to have a car that has an infotainment system. I cannot wait. Reading about Transformers. Obviously, Transformers. Love Transformers. Fast and Furious. Good uh, new movie. Um, 10.5 is coming soon. Uh, it's going to be great. It's going to be coming out. Uh, uh, I think uh, it's been delayed, but it should be coming out in May around my birthday. It's going to be nice. A great movie. And of course, everybody makes fun of the F-35 because it's so expensive. It's actually not just the plane that we pay for. The software is very important. The software is so important, you, you would not believe what they can do with that software. That's why it's annoying when they are upset at these programmers who only make, some of them barely make 80K, which is, you know, that's, uh, they should have some recognition. And meanwhile, there's other developers who make 300K. Are you serious? That guy gets paid 300,000 a year. This other guy pays, gets paid 80K. As far as we know, there's people who don't even get paid in, and should be getting paid for repairing the software. That's ridiculous. It's an embarrassment. An embarrassment. All right, guys. As always, you know, speaking of F-35, you're, you're flying. Drink is your zero beer. You know, you're on the clock. Drink is your zero beer. Very important. All right. Um, stay hydrated. Stay hydrated, obviously. Hope you enjoyed my new content, I made some uh, live streaming and I'm using my mic. I'm using my mic. People are like, this guy never uses his voice. What does he have to say? What does he have to say? Well, I made some live commentary of Death Stranding. So now you know what I'm thinking about when I talk about Death Stranding. I made some commentary about Battlefield 2042. I made some commentary about... Um, uh, Call of Duty. I mean, some, I'm going to make some commentary about Naruto, and I just thought about it. All these live streaming and commentary. What would be, what would make us happy right now? You know full well what would make us happy. Metal Gear Solid Five, Diamond Dogs, with the Psycho Watch, Psycho Japan, and we'll listen to the music. Whoa, that's what we need to do. It's gonna be amazing. We're gonna go in there. We're gonna, we're gonna talk to, we're gonna save Miller. We're gonna go in there in Afghanistan, save Commander Miller, and just rebuild the organization of Diamond Dogs, and we're gonna do create the Militaire Sans Frontières. It's the military without borders. Right? There you go. All right. 
Yeah, can't wait. And Metal Gear uh, Solid uh, Delta, uh, uh, you know, it's, it's coming out uh, soon. That's going to be great. I should live stream that too. It's, it's going to be amazing. All right. So anyway, uh, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. You, you like to dance? You like techno? I'm, I'm going to be at the Charlotte DeWitt. Uh, Charlotte DeWitt uh, in April, uh, early April. I'll be at the concert. I just, I, I like to dance, guys, you know. And yes, I like to dance with women. I like to dance with women. You know, uh, I'll ask permission with my wife, but, but I will. And there's a woman there who wants to dance. I will be dancing. So I'm um, going to Charlotte DeWitt. I want to go dancing. Cannot wait. It's going to be amazing. And, uh, you know, obviously I still have to keep trying to save the world and do all these fucking things, even though I'm out of office. I'm just trying to chillax for two weeks. But I'm going to be at Charlotte DeWitt in early April. I'm dancing, you know, fist popping, just listening to techno for, for two, or, two or four hours. It's going to be great. All right. I think uh, Paul Van Dyke over here is, is, uh, is working on another album. And um, I'll, uh, well, Paul Van Dyke, if you, uh, if you ever have a concert in San Francisco, that'd be fun. Yeah, I'd love to go. Uh, I haven't seen you since I left Ohio State. That was forever ago. I haven't been to see uh, PVD since, uh, what the hell was it? It was 2009? Yeah, it was 2009. It was a long time ago. It was a different era. He is freezing. He's freezing. Why is he freezing? There's a lot of snow where he's at. Ah, NATO. Yeah, NATO. Uh, okay, guys, you're doing a great work for Ukraine. Just, uh, just, um, just keep it up. Just keep up the good work for Ukraine. Very important. And um, uh, I will uh, work on more reports and all that. I'm just, I'm just trying to, you know, I'm taking a break here. I'm taking a break. I'll write more reports in due time, but. Uh, Right now, everybody asked for a new video, and I, made, I just made a new video. So, there you go, and uh, and uh, yeah, 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 there you go. So, enjoy my live streaming on the PlayStation in the meantime, and then when I get when I show up again, you know, probably be back. Uh, oh, god damn it! That's what I need to talk about. We need to talk about the upcoming election in Russia. Very important that uh, we can kick out Putin. We can kick out Putin and put. Uh, Alexei Novelli passed away. It's, uh, it's problematic. So I don't know if his wife wants to run for office or whoever. Just, you know, we need to help the people in Russia and basically, you know, save them from uh, Putin's uh, grip on everything. You know, so, uh, oh yeah, I mentioned this. Pussy Riot. Pussy Riot, you got a new album. Let's put it on Mew Radio. We'll put it on Mew Radio. Uh, Pussy Riot, you got a new single. Yeah, uh, you know, you you you're singing and screaming about tired of uh, Putin. Make that song. I will put it on Mew Radio. Uh, I'm on two two hundred one, so two hundred two, episode two hundred two. We'll have a Pussy Riot on it. Uh, I promise. All right. I try to say under ten minutes. I'm I'm over here talking even more. People just want to. They want me to just hurry up and just upload something. I'm uploading it. Okay, I'm uploading it. You want to get a hold of me? I'm I'm basically I'm not. I'm not hibernating. I'm just trying to uh, just chillax and uh, and be on the PlayStation. And uh, obviously, it's Super Tuesday. Uh, go vote. If you haven't voted already by mail, it's really ridiculous. Vote blue to save America. Vote blue to save America. I don't know what else to say. All right. Love you guys. Have a great day. And uh, talk to you later. Everything's on the website, Zagler Coffee. You see me on Twitter. Uh, there's a link for my link tree, which has a link to all my stuff. And please donate to uh, Venmo, PayPal, GoFundMe, and all this. I'm trying to buy my first vehicle. I've been working for about 25 years, including, on top of that, another five years unpaid. And I'm just trying to buy my first vehicle. It's just, it means a lot to me. I really want to buy a first car. It's really important. Thanks.